Welcome to TFT Demonstrations. I'm Janelle Alberton. In this clip, I will show you how to do the algorithm for PTSD. PTSD might be a relatively new term, but it's definitely not a new problem. The usual symptoms we think of when we think of PTSD would involve things like nightmares, insomnia, radical changes in appetite, an extreme startle response to unexpected noises, a hair trigger temper that is sometimes violent, depression, despair, maybe suicidal ideation, and high-risk behaviors that put the person in danger of being injured or even killed. So what is PTSD? It's been defined as a normal reaction of a normal person to a very abnormal situation. For example, experiencing or witnessing a violent attack or a severe injury, witnessing someone being killed or dying in some extremely violent way. It makes sense that someone who goes through an experience like this would suffer PTSD afterwards. But does PTSD always and only result from extreme violence? What other, less obvious, nonviolent situations could also result in PTSD? Joanne Callahan trained me in TFT, and in class, one day she said, a cancer diagnosis can also be a traumatic experience resulting in PTSD. I remember when my aunt was diagnosed with breast cancer. Suddenly, the thoughts on everyone's mind was about the treatment plan. What would she do? Would she do chemotherapy and or radiation and or surgery? We all moved into how to fix this thing. Rarely is the traumatic event of hearing the diagnosis ever addressed as a standalone event that could result in PTSD. Trauma is a subjective experience. Different people are traumatized by different things. If someone feels traumatized, it was a trauma. For a cancer patient, the traumatic events start to pile up and the effects accumulate over time. Eventually, the body-mind system begins to break down. A common result of this breakdown is depression, which makes someone high risk for several things. Depression impairs the immune system, which makes it more difficult to fight infections and diseases. Depression can also be the basis of observable behaviors such as polypharmacy, which means someone goes to different doctors to get prescriptions of the same drug, or self-medication through drug abuse such as alcohol or street drugs. Also high-risk behaviors, which could involve drunk driving, or promiscuous sex without protection. Fortunately, Dr. Callahan has found a simple fix that's worked for thousands of people already all over the world, thought field therapy. He's the founding father of all varieties of tapping techniques out there today. TFT is the original emotional freedom techniques. He's developed his techniques over decades of scientifically based research and development. The tapping process is to be done in a very specific way for optimal results. Three steps get you started. Step one, focus on the thought field. This means just feel the feeling that you want to stop feeling. Just feel it. Step two, focus on the SUD, the subjective unit of discomfort. This is a scale that ranges from 0 to 10. If 0 means that the discomfort is completely gone, what is your number now? That is your said. You and you alone are the only one who can decide what your said is. With steps 1 and 2, please don't think too much don't judge your feelings, don't judge yourself, and don't even put words to feelings. There's no need to label what you're feeling or express it verbally in any way, not silently or aloud or in writing. 
This is why TFT works on those who cannot communicate how they feel. Infants, comatose patients, cats, dogs, even horses. Just feel the distress and give it a number. It's enough. TFT has helped thousands of people throughout the world find total release from PTSD and start new lives full of joy and peace. Are you ready to join them? Did you do step two? Do you have your said? Now for step three. May the tapping begin. Just watch the video and follow along. Eyebrow. Eye. Arm. Collarbone. That sequence of points is what we call the algorithm for PTSD. You will learn this and much more in the next few minutes. Let's see that sequence again, this time with voiceover and subtitles. Eyebrow. Eye. Arm and collarbone. And that, my friends, is the basic sequence for treating post-traumatic stress disorder. You know it was a trauma for you. Whether you were bullied at work, school, or on the internet, whether it's a failed romance or marriage, whether you got fired or laid off, maybe you got a diagnosis of a life-threatening disease, or you lost a loved one. It doesn't matter. Use this tapping sequence for a complex trauma anytime you just want to feel better. This next algorithm is for anger, well known as the toxic emotion that can tear you up from the inside out. Anger can be a part of a trauma. Maybe you're angry at whoever did the bad thing. You're angry at the rapist or the bully, the drunk driver, the boss, the ex-lover, etc. It is common for people who have experienced trauma to feel very, very angry at people who did not do the right thing. They saw chronic abuse and chose to ignore it, or they recognized it and minimized it, said it wasn't so bad, or they saw a crime and simply failed to report it. In these cases we talk about, anger is normal and maybe justified but it's still toxic. You will function better in life if you can discharge this anger. A third possible direction for anger is being angry at yourself. Hindsight is 2020 vision, but many people beat themselves up on what could or should have been done and what they would do if it could all be done over again. It always comes down to this question. Okay, so you're angry. You were traumatized. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to use all the tools available to you? The following algorithm works on 80% of the population to discharge anger and help set the stage for forgiveness, which is your path to inner peace and health. Are you ready? Let's go. Touch your pinky fingertip to the tip of your thumb for support. Tap the side of your pinky finger next to the fingernail five to seven times, and then tap your collarbone point five to seven times. One thing I love about TFT is that more really can be better. If you're in an extreme situation, tap 50 times. This next algorithm is very helpful for guilt, especially survivor's guilt. For example, if others died in the traumatic event that you experienced. Tapping on the index finger can also help regret. For example, if you're obsessing on how you should have done things differently and would if you only could. Touch your index fingertip to the tip of your thumb for support. 
Tap the side of your index finger next to your fingernail. Tap the IF point five to seven times, and then the C point five to seven times. Again, if guilt or regret is something you're really struggling with, tap 50 times on the index finger point, and then five to seven times on the collarbone point. Now, we will put the three algorithms together to form the complex trauma with anger and guilt algorithm. It's encouraging to know that an algorithm is a sequence of tapping points that gives total relief as reported by 80% of all clients. The complex trauma with anger and guilt sequence begins with the eyebrow point, then it goes to under the eye, under the arm, collarbone, tiny finger, collarbone, index finger, collarbone. The chances are very good that this will help you. Step one, feel the feeling that you want to stop feeling. And step two, what is the subjective unit of discomfort or SUD? Give it a number from zero to 10, with zero meaning, I no longer feel what I didn't want to feel. Eyebrow, eye, arm, collarbone, tiny finger, collarbone, index finger, collarbone. And that, my friends, was the complex trauma with anger and guilt algorithm. In step one, you found your SUD, somewhere between zero and 10. Our goal is to tap your SUD down to zero. What is your SUD now? It should be lower. Tap the algorithm again, and it should be even lower. If the number is stuck, tap the side of hand point. The side of hand point is a powerful point that we use a lot. It's halfway between your wrist and your knuckles. Tap there firmly, and if you're really feeling stuck, tap 50 times. This helps to reset your body's energy system so that it will respond properly to the tapping. And follow with the collarbone point. 